Hey guys, it's Carlos, and this is Danielle. Danielle ate the sandwich. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I have like three questions to ask you. Um, one. Um, so you have like 70 plus, not 70, 7,000 plus subscribers on YouTube. Like, how do you feel about that? Like, every time you post I a video... I feel like there are 7,000 people out there who have very bad taste. <laughs> but I'll take it, because if they, you know, give me attention and compliments and occasionally give me money for things, bring it on. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think that it's pretty freaking cool that, to know that there's at least 7,000 people who think I'm all un good enough to subscribe. And of course, internet fame is fleeting and whatnot, and it's not hard to just push subscribe a bunch of times, but, you know, still. Does it freak you out sometimes? It's just like, oh my god, 7,000 people are watching yeah, me. Yeah, a little bit too. And <laughs> like you, I make my videos in my house, mm -hmm. so it's just kind of weird that people have like seen my closet and <laughs> yeah. my shower curtain and stuff like that. But it happens. The internet is all about peop letting people into your life, yeah. you know what I mean? And just spreading the joy. Spreading the love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, second question is, what got you started on like doing music? I was always, I was raised in a musical family. I started piano when I was like six years old. You know, the typical progression of, then I did band, and then I did orchestra, and then I did choir, and blah, blah, blah. I did all the things that your schools tell you to do. Mm -hmm. But um, I finally started playing like guitar and writing my own songs. Uh, I, I've always written my own songs. I think I have like notebooks of really crappy songs I wrote to keyboards about like boys I had crushes on in sixth grade. <laughs> But I started writing real songs uh, that were good enough to sing in front of people, in my own opinion, in like... <laughs> Ready? Yeah.
other things the little boys dreamed about staring at the ceiling laying on their backs and bellies caught up in the season playing on the front porch swinging baseballs in the back lot talking words that don't have meaning her father was an astronaut father was a cowboy, riding towards the big sun setting, bullets in the bad guys, beans around the campfire singing, tunes about the old trails, talking words that don't have meaning, her father was a cowboy, and in my sleep, my hair grows, it's hard to keep these things that we have in common anymore, anymore, anymore. Her father was a prostitute, selling his own body to men across the business table to make an offer talking words that don't have meaning her father was a prostitute and in the rainstorm windshield wipers steer the fates of the car drivers and I am putting all my faith in these doors keeping uh, all my secrets safe and warm, 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 warm. And it's not certain whether you are right or you are wrong. It's not certain whether plane tickets will break my fall. But I'm hoping that sitting next to the telephone twisting cords will keep me until the time you call. Picture taker. Her father held the head of the woman that he loved in his own hands. Her blood is yours, her blood is mine. Hands. And uh, we will burst inside these borders, clinging tight to these ideas. But it's hard to keep these things that we have in common.